the long-awaited apartment tour. Notice here, this is broken because I rage quit and pulled the lock out on accident, so no, that's not gonna get fixed. So when you walk in, to the right we have the bathroom here, which you don't wanna see, and then we have Julian's room here, which he so kindly left the door open so we can take a sneak peek in here. So Julian does have a little Eiffel Tower view, which is nice. And when you're in a shower at night, which is weird to say, <laughs> <laughs> I've had to use a shower once or twice. You can also see it sparkling. And from the loft upstairs, you can see it sparkling, which is nice. Welcome to the main area. So we have a mixture of living room, dining room, kitchen, all in one. This apartment is 50 meters squared, but I don't think that they counted the loft area upstairs because of this beam right here with US architecture, if something's like in the way like that, they usually can't count it as like extra space upstairs because technically, you can't really do much up there, like to jump over the whatever. Anyways, I think downstairs is a 50 meters. So we have Julian's room with his shower, the bathroom with the toilet is separate from both of us, so we just share that. And then I have my room with my shower over there. I would say my favorite part besides my room is the living room just because it looks so cozy. So I have like my little books here. There's a million books over there as well. You know why I know that this apartment is supposed to be for me? Because I came here. This is my Huga book, and they already had a How to Huga book, which is Danish Living. Um, definitely recommend this book. It's really about like what makes you happy in your living space and home space and lifestyle. But I was like, you know what? I'm meant to be here because there's a Huga book here. All the other books are all mine, which I've either bought here or have brought from home. If you look here, the beginning of my candle obsession starts. There's a million candles in here. Bless this rocking chair, which is really cute. I have other candles. So I made this little setup with Kelsey when she was in town. We bought um, like the eucalyptus and whatever flower this is. And the vases were already here, but then everything else is mine. So we also bought these little vases from Flux, which is here in Paris in the Marais. And these candles too, it's melted on the bottom because I couldn't stick it in. The color came off, whatever, it still looks cool. And I love them, I think they're super beautiful. And then I bought all of these other little candles. So these are from like Zara Home, I think. Trusty Dusty, Ikea. This is from Flux as well, I wanna say. And then these cocktail collection candles are from Candlefish Rewind Candles in Charleston. Um, I run out of those fast because they're the mini ones, but they smell so good. It's the French 75 flavor. Delicious. So let's go into the dining room area. This is Julian's prized possession. It's a Lego bonsai tree. <laughs> So it has little frogs and pink flowers on it and you can change the flowers out. So after the holidays, he's gonna go back to the green. Here's the lock that I broke for the door. <laughs> More candles. Here's another vase that's mine that I bought from, I wanna say Flux as well. And then the blue vase is already here. So a lot of the stuff in here was already here. I just rearranged and moved things around. And it does look like a little Ikea, like home. When you walk in Ikea and they have like the setup rooms, everything in here is from Ikea essentially. But over to the kitchen, I have my vegan protein powder, <laughs> my new pumpkin spice latte mix, my air fryer over there. I have a love-hate relationship with this kitchen because the silver gets so dirty so fast on like the appliances, like the fridge and the freezer, and then the black gets dirty so rapidly, <laughs> and then the walls are dirty. It's a mess. But I bought this at H&M Home. And it's so cute. It took me a long time to find the right command strips to hold it up. Um, usually there's like more vegetables in here. We got a sweep date on some thyme. I don't know. Super cute though. I put like apples and lemons in there. And then Julian and I have a coffee obsession. We have our Nespresso machine up there. So we always have Nespresso pods. And we always have tea, which I'm having my mom bring me more tea this week because I don't like the tea here. It's not as flavorful in my opinion. We're super blessed to have an oven and a microwave. 
which you usually don't have the oven here and the stove top and the stove top with four things usually it's two and you don't have the oven so we're really excited about that the nice 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 prize possession up here Chris taught us this so Julian and I were like why is this not working we're up and down on the vent thing we're like oh must be broken the lights don't work Chris was making pasta and opened this and we were like I look over at Julian and he looked at me and we were like what so I love this light with the top light makes it so much better in here okay let's go over here this was filled with random stuff that the people who own the apartment originally had um, I turned it into like a bar cart of sorts down here, but then like a bookshelf up top. So I have all my random books here that I brought from home. And then we have some of the Moscow Mule cups. And then Kelsey and I started this vase full of corks when she was here because we'd have like three bottles of wine a night. So it's kind of just become a fun little thing. And whenever friends come over, we have wine and we put it in here. Half of them are broken as well. These glasses are from Ikea which this is definitely dirty. That's disgusting. Super cute though. I love the shape of them because it's not like a regular round glass. It's like flat and then it goes in. So I really like that. Also one of my favorite candles, it gives um, Sleeping Beauty vibes, like the rose and the little thing, you know? Super cute. So this is the loft space that we also like to call the man cave. Um, so blessed we have this because Julian likes to play video games and I don't like to see it. So this is really just his space. He has like his guitar stuff over here. This is a twin bed from Ikea. Um, I've had multiple friends stay here and Julian's mom stayed here as well. And it's super comfy, which is kind of surprising. Really nice. We have the little TV here. He has his stuff there. And then back over here, this is why I said I don't think they count the square meters in because oh, that's just not realistic you know but guitar stuff here I love these um, skylights as well because it adds so much light I have my suitcase in here there's tons of storage in this place as well oh, break my head last apartment watched this crazy stuff this comes out isn't that the most bizarre thing actually a coat rack didn't realize that until like a month in of living here when my friend visited and he put his coat on there and I was like whoa also blessed to have a washer and dryer it's not very common in Paris to have both and also it's pretty big so they were kind of small super nice this is the, or my shower. Um, what I like about my room, my shower, is that it's like all white in here. And then in Julian's shower, it's all black in his room. So it's kind of like the difference of colors. I don't know. Tiny mirror. But I have everything organized in here. Oh yeah, there's Chris. Don't want to block you. <laughs> also, let's take a look at this awesome closet space. So blessed. So I have everything organized. Bags, pants, t-shirts, whatever. And then this is also cool. I don't really get the reason why they did this because they definitely could have just had like the regular space there. But this comes out, which is kind of snazzy. And then all your sweaters fall on the ground. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Let's go in here. This is my humble abode. There's Francine and Kenneth. If you know, you know. <laughs> I have more candles that smell so good. Got some little flowers in here. I have more candles up here. I love this face. I don't have flowers in it, but it's a little fat lady. And she has a cute butt. And my film camera, another candle, another candle, another candle. 
another candle, and then my little love box that my mom sends me messages on, and then I have a little sticky note that my dad wrote me. This is love you, sis. Originally the bed was this way against this gray wall, and it was cute like that, but then I wanted this full frame mirror over there. And then with the side table, it didn't really make sense. So I put the side table here, the bed this way, and that's nice too, because then I can lay in bed and look out the window, which is fun. And then this mirror is really nice. From my Instagram pictures, see? There you go. And sometimes I just open this, and it's peaceful. I go about sleeping, so I have this little hatch sleep thing, which, let's see if it turns on, yeah. So it like mimics the sunrise, um, and it makes really loud chirping. A meditation for deep rest and okay, chill out. It makes like chirping noises in the morning, I have it set, and then at night it has dishwasher sounds that I fall asleep to, and you can do like meditation on it, that's why he started talking. And it's like a light as well, so you can make it different colors, and then I have, her name, her name is Ziggy. But it's an Alexa dot. Ziggy. Hi. Hi. Nice to hear your voice. Ah, oh, she's so kind. And then I have a light behind the mirror just because I think the aesthetics in here are nice. It's nice and cozy. Yeah. That's it. That's my apartment tour. Isn't it nice? I will say. Finding the apartment was a pain in the ass. Um, Paris realtors are not the best, and by that I mean they suck really badly. So we found this apartment probably a week before I came to Paris, and it ended up being a last minute thing where they emailed me the link and they were like, here's an apartment in your price range, are you down? And I was like, we don't have a choice really, so we ended up signing the lease, didn't see the apartment at all. And then the day we came, I was super nervous because I had never been in this district before. We're in the 12th right now. Last year I lived in the 16th, which is like the other side of Paris. I was very hesitant because I hadn't been in this area before. And we showed up. I love the outside. There's like a little roundabout and cafes and there's a little boulangerie. And we walked down the street and up the tiniest little elevator. And we came inside and we were like, oh my God, this is perfect. I ended up loving it. But the other agency emailed me back probably two weeks after living here. And they were like, are you still looking for an apartment? I was like, I emailed you three weeks ago. <laughs> so it was really hard to find this, but I think everything worked out and I love it. It's beautiful, it's perfect. Oh, oh, can't forget to show them this. So I just got this tattoo a couple of weeks ago, but it's on my arm and it's in my handwriting. And it says, que c'est je, which is up on this beam right here, um, which is kind of like a joke. Now, whenever anybody sits on the couch, you're like, what does that mean? It means, what do I know? Which I thought was really funny. And I thought that would be the perfect tattoo to remind me of my time here that wasn't like cringy. So yeah, it's on my body now. And I love this place. We are originally only gonna stay until December, but we are going to stay now throughout the rest of the school year because we like it so much and it's perfect for us. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>